Welcome to the second edition of IMAD, an online course intending to introduce people to modern application development. This course is being brought to you by IIT Madras and Hasura. The faculty for this edition of the course remain the same. There is me, Gaurav Rena from IIT Madras and Tanmay Gopal from Hasura. Why should you take this course? This course has been very carefully titled Introduction to Modern Application Development. And at the end of this course, you will be able to actually understand what web and application development today is and what it will be tomorrow. You will not have to learn yourself or you will not have hazy uh, or an incomplete understanding, but you will actually have an end-to-end -end understanding from first principles about what is going on with web uh, and with apps in general. And you will be able to use that knowledge to actually build an app and through this course you will build your own app, even if you've not done any programming before, just by typing out a few lines, you will be able to go through the entire experience of, of what app development is. For those of you who are uh, programmers, the features that you add in the app are limited by your own imagination. You will be able to use this theoretical and practical knowledge uh, and this will actually help you tangibly get a job or, or an internship at, this end, at the end of this course. But the thing that I am personally most excited about at the end of this course is that maybe some of you will go out and build your own applications for problems that you yourselves have seen. And that would be the best thing about taking this course. If you don't take this course, uh, and I, I don't mean to scare you, but if you don't take this course, then you, be, then you might put yourself at the risk of losing out. All, all businesses today are moving towards an increased amount of IT. They are moving towards modern applications. They are moving towards the cloud. And, and these are not just startups. These are also traditional companies. Banks, manufacturing companies, um, companies that have uh, made bicycles, companies that make tires, companies that sell shampoos. All of them are going to move towards an increased amount of IT. And, and if you work in these companies, how will you speak the right language? How will you communicate with the technical team? How will you understand the power of what IT can do for you and your organization. Please do go through this entire course. This course will start out very simple. This week, we'll just introduce you to the concepts of what a web app is, how a web app works, but the complexity will gradually increase and we will cover more and more advanced topics. These, all the lectures are structured as very, very short videos. Do watch them in your free time. They're all going to be between 10 to 20 minutes long. Try to complete your simple MCQ type assignments uh, and do follow all the programming exercises. Gaurav and I work on several projects, both in and outside IIT. And the reason we came up with this course was the realization that web and now application development on the web or on the cloud is, is something almost everybody picks up online. Its study has not really been made systematic uh, in the classroom because of two main reasons. The first reason is that the entire space is amazingly rapidly changing and it's very hard for classrooms to keep up with the exact technologies that the industry is using today or is going to use in the next few years. For example, in the classroom, the course, courses related to this particular field, courses related to this particular topic are often called web technology courses. And that term, web technology, has evolved um, towards the term web development, which is sort of the more industry-oriented, programming-oriented version of the topic. And that almost, and that today has become app development. Uh, technically, these are all powered by the same technologies, um, but it's hard for us to learn app development in classrooms just yet. The second reason why the study of web development or app development is hard in the classroom is because it's a very broad topic and it spans multiple complex disciplines of computer science. It spans areas of software engineering, database systems, concurrent and distributed systems, networks and cryptography. When we talk about web development today or application development, the underlying technology behind that has been worked, has been worked on uh, for several decades by some of the most brilliant people in the field. And it's hard to condense all of that into a quick yet systematic introduction. So our aim is to solve exactly those problems. The first 
thing that we will do is we will talk about web and application development as it is today and as it will be in the next few years. We will go over a fundamental concepts in such a way that you will understand this space even as it evolves over the next few um, years and even decades. We will also simplify and bring together fundamentals from all of these different fields so that we have a thorough understanding of web development from first principles. We will also hit the dirt and put our knowledge to the test by actually building uh, an application via programming exercises. So this course is intended for both kinds of people. Um, programmers and people who will in the future become developers are encouraged to take this course. And if you are a developer today um, or you will be a developer, then this course will help you understand the fundamentals and give you the right starting point for going into more specialization. If you're a non-programmer and your career path might not involve development, you might still be working in a company which is technology enabled, which has IT, which is leveraging apps, web apps or mobile apps. And for you as well, it is important to, to understand the fundamentals of how application development and web apps work so that you can speak the right language to the technical members of your team. A key difference between the first and the second editions is that this time round we'll be running the course over eight weeks. And that is because we got lots of feedback from students saying that they actually wanted some more time to practice the material. We are very excited to have you as part of this course and we would also really welcome any feedback that you may have that may help us improve the course in future editions.